So my mission is pretty unique in the fact that we have 11 individual countries in the mission. Um, our mission home is on Trinidad and Tobago, um, but then we also have St. Vincent, St. Martin, St. Lucia, Martinique, Guadeloupe, Barbados, Grenada, um, Suriname, French Guiana, and Guyana. Um, we have three formal mission languages, Dutch, English, and French. The majority of the countries speak, um, speak English. Two of them speak French, and one is a Dutch-speaking country, um, which is kind of cool. It's a really cool demographic. Um, when I got there, there were about 180 missionaries, uh, but after the, kind of, the missionary boom, we got up to about, I think, 240. So that was kind of cool to see. Um, the church is really young. I think the country that I served in Suriname, the church, or it was the country was dedicated for missionary service. I think in the late '80s, so it's still pretty new to the church. Right now, there's I believe two stakes in the West Indies, um, with three or four wards in each stake, and then the rest are all just small branches scattered throughout the islands and throughout the different countries and things like that. The majority, I would say, the majority of the branches are anywhere from 15 to 60 ranging in between that range depending on how close they are to the bigger cities, what transportation is like in that given area. So they're generally pretty small. The majority of the ones that I served in were 30 to 40. Um, most of the members in the Caribbean have to travel to the Santo Domingo Dominican Republic Temple. However, with the new addition of the Manaus Temple in northern Brazil, a lot of the members who live on the northern coast of South America are able to travel to that temple, which is a little bit closer and what I understand a little bit economically feasible um, for them. Um, but further than that, the church is growing pretty well, especially with the influx of missionaries. It seems like growth is picking up, missionary work is picking up, and it seems like things are going pretty well. I think the only thing that I can think of is just given the number of different countries within the mission. I mean, most people get called to serve in Argentina or in Korea, and they spend their whole mission in that one country. But in our mission, we have the opportunity to visit, say, five different countries or six different countries. And you have the opportunity to serve in six different cultures. Um, and every island, though they may speak English, has their own dialect of English. So it's kind of cool. You get many different cultures throughout your mission, depending on where you serve, which language you speak, um, and the people that you have a chance to interact with, which is pretty cool.